Hey everyone, Demonite here. So today I got another build in Borderlands 2 for you guys and this one is for Gage. And this is called my Assault Rifle Gage build which is obviously based around Assault Rifles and Gage Chill of All Trades class mod. So the items I have on here are the Hail as the main damage weapon and then another Hail in a corrosive element just for iron ironclads in this area. And then a Veruk as the secondary weapon and a Slagger to slag things. Um, the Height of Terramorphous for Death Trap. Then of course a Chill of All Trades class mod because it boosts Assault Rifles. Um, a Slag Transfusion for some more slag and also healing. And then a Bone of the Ancients. Then for the spec right here it's pretty much just based around dealing as much damage as possible. Um, with a slight focus on Death Trap so he can kill some things too. Um, then I didn't go for cooking up trouble because I'm generally just using guns with high magazine sizes. So I'm not going to run around with full magazines most of the time. Um, and then I also had 4 points left over which I just put into more pep for some more slag chance. Um, but you can pretty much put them anywhere you want to. Strength for 5 gorillas isn't bad or potent as a pony. Um, and I also didn't go for Discord, so if you want Discord you can just easily take a point from more pep and put it in here. And you can also max out typecast iconoclast if you want to, just to keep your stacks up all the time. So I'm in the Bloodshot Stronghold here and I think this should be a pretty nice map to demonstrate this build. Um, shouldn't be too difficult to go through here. And I did pre-stack Anarchy stacks. Um, which you don't have to do, but I just did it to show the full potential of this build. Um, but yeah, Assault Rifle Gauge, I really like this build because it's not your typical gauge build, but it has a typical gauge playstyle. And if you didn't know, the Jill of All Trades class mod is actually the exact same class mod as Exton's Rifleman class mod. Except that it's like 1% better. Um, which doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense. But it combines Axon's Assault Rifle build together with an Anarchy Gauge build, which I really like. Um, and we kind of have to get lucky here with the Slagger to slag things, because with our accuracy being so bad, we have to proc both close enough and the slag chance to slag enemies. Which sometimes means enemies will just refuse to get slagged at all. Which can be somewhat annoying. Um, but at least I have my transfusion grenades as a backup for that. And yeah, as you can see, with 400 stacks of Anarchy, you'll just wreck everything. And you don't even have to slag everything. Um, trash mobs can easily be killed without slag. Alright, there we go. Um, so for this area I definitely want to make sure that the turret over there is dead, so I'll just throw a grenade over there. And we'll also summon Death Trap again. Um, the problem with using a Royal Shield for Death Trap is that it's obviously not the best defensive shield. Um, which means if there are too many e enemies in the area, Death Trap can get killed quite easily. Um, but it's definitely worth to use a Royal Shield for him because that will just give him a ton of extra damage and he will be able to easily kill things on his own. Um, but since this build isn't focused around Death Trap anyway, it's not even a problem that he goes down relatively quickly. He's just a little bonus, I guess. And he also distracts enemies for you, which is nice. And we're getting a ton of elemental SMGs here, which isn't that great. Alright, so make sure my guns are reloaded.
and we'll move on here. And we also have Death Trap again, so that's nice. But I think I'm gonna save him for Mad Mike. Um, because that guy can just instantly health gate us. So, we'll kill some enemies here and then I guess I can summon him again. And yeah, the slagger isn't really that effective at long distances with that many anarchy stacks. Um, but yeah, the hail and the Varuk are obviously not the only two guns you can use on this build. Um, for example, the Ogre and the Kerblaster work really well on Gage. Um, but what's definitely worth noting about the Kerblaster is that it kinda requires you to use a Sham Shield. Um, otherwise you'll just kill yourself with it. Um, so you might consider respecking when using the Kerblaster and not going for sharing is carrying. Um, you can still use it and give Death Trap a Sham Shield, which makes him tankier and he just died, which is vets, because that means we don't have him for Mad Mike. Um, but yeah, that makes Death Trap a bit tankier, which can be nice, so he can distract more enemies. Um, but you can also go down the middle tree and get Interspersed Outburst and um, make it sparkle. And he refuses to get slagged. There we go. Um, and with Make It Sparkle you can either give Death Trap a little bit more damage or you can put a slag element on him. Um, which means he can sometimes occasionally slag things for you. Which is pretty nice and then you also have Make It um, not Make It Sparkle, then you also have Interspersed Outburst. Which is even more free slag. So that definitely works out pretty nice. Um, but other than those two, the Madhouse for example is pretty interesting on Gage. Um, because of the way it interacts with close enough. It's not necessarily the best options in terms of assault rifles by any means. But it's pretty interesting. Okay, get some health back here with the hail. Alright, there we go. Um, but what's also worth noting is that at higher anarchy stacks um, some weapons can become kinda unusable, like for example the Becca or the Kitten. Um, because the Kitten will just go all over the place and you won't hit anything with it. And with the Becca you can't reliably hit enemies with the unlisted projectiles, especially since they don't work with um, close enough. Um, but as I said earlier, you don't have to pre-stack with this build. So, um, if you're at a low stack count, you can still use both of them, of course. Um, but yeah, at high anarchy stacks, I wouldn't really recommend using them. Alright, so Death Trap is almost dead, there he goes. And there's another elemental SMG, so I want this guy dead.
Alright, there we go. So, we'll move on here and kill the last few enemies in this map. Alright, nice. So let's get to the last area. Um, and make sure everything is slagged over there. Alright, there we go. So yeah, that's my assault rifle gauge build. Um, it might be one of my favorite gauge builds along with melee gauge. Um, I'm not entirely sure which of those two is my favorite one. Probably melee gauge, but I still enjoy assault rifle gauge a lot. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys my gear and my spec again. And... As always, no bar, of course. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, everyone, and see ya.